Hello everybody and welcome to the Robin's Nest. Today on my channel I get to decorate a graduation cake. Now because of the whole COVID-19 situation this year our graduates didn't get to have the celebration that they had hoped for but that doesn't mean we can't still celebrate them. So this cake is dedicated to all the graduates of 2020. Now let's get into it. So for today's cake, I'm decorating a double layer chocolate cake. So as you can see, I baked up two 10 inch round chocolate layers, but I've also baked up a smaller five inch round chocolate layer. And to get the bowl shape, I used a, stain a small stainless steel bowl that I greased very well and lined with a small piece of parchment paper so it wouldn't stick. And this piece here is actually going to serve as the bottom part of our graduation cap on top of the cake. So I'm gonna start by leveling out all these layers, and then we're gonna fill them with delicious chocolate buttercream. So once you finish filling your layers, you can actually go ahead and start your crumb coat at this point if you want to. But I want to go one step further because I really don't like the way the sides of my cake look. So I'm going to trim these up to straighten them up a bit. And I'm also going to trim up my little cake as well just to clean up the sides a little bit, make that look a little better. And then once I'm finished with that, we can start our crumb coat. Now because we're working with the chocolate cake and we're going to be covering it in white fondant, I decided to go with a white vanilla buttercream to do our crumb coat so that way none of the chocolate cake shows through when we cover our cake with our fondant. So I'm just going to add a fair amount of buttercream to the top of our cake and we're going to spread it out using our offset spatula. There, I finished my crumb coat and it's nice and smooth. Now we're gonna pop these in the fridge to chill for about 20 or 30 minutes to firm up our icing in preparation for our fondant coverage. And in the meantime, we're gonna take a little bit of fondant and make the top of our graduation cap and our little graduation diploma. So the colors for this cake are gonna be royal blue and white with gold accents. So we're gonna start with the royal blue and we're gonna add some tylo powder to this and mix it up really well. Then we're gonna roll it out nice and thin and cut a perfect square shape and set that to dry on a piece of parchment paper to use later on the top of our cake as the top of our hat. And then I'm gonna use some white fondant and repeat those same steps using the same technique, except we're gonna roll it up and make a little diploma. And if anybody's curious how I got this pretty royal blue, I used Americolor Royal Blue and Americolor Violet. So I finished making my decorations and I've set them to firm up in a nice warm dry place for a little while. So that means it's time to cover our cakes with fondant now. So I'm gonna grab my 10 inch first and we're gonna cover that with some nice bright white fondant and give it a really pretty quilted pattern all the way around the outside. And then we're gonna grab our smaller cake and we're gonna get that covered with some royal blue.
as you can see, I went ahead and I applied all these little silver buttons all the way around the outside of the cake to complete the quilting pattern. Now I'm going to come in with a little bit of gold paint and paint each one of these little silver dots, so that way it'll match the last final decoration that I'm going to make next, and that's the little tassel for the top of the graduation hat. And once I'm finished with that, we're going to assemble our cake and put everything together. Well, here it is guys, what do you think? I think it turned out great, and I think it's a great cake to celebrate the entire class of 2020. Happy graduation, guys. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Leave me a big thumbs up, and let me know what you think about this cake in the comment section down below. And if you have any other great caking ideas, I'd love to hear about them down there too. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you receive a notification every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching.